Hey guys, I'm Thomas with ECS, and last DIY you saw, we replaced the transfer case bushing on this X5 behind me. While we were in there, we noticed that the cross member was pretty rusted, so we figured we'd go ahead and replace that and show you guys that process as well. Uh, some of the tools that you're gonna need to kind of get into it is a 19 millimeter socket, a 16 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, an eight millimeter socket, and an eight e-torx. Also gonna need an 18 millimeter wrench, and then a 16 millimeter wrench as well. If you have ratcheting, great. If you have a regular wrench, that's fine. A 3 8 drive ratchet, some extensions, and last but not least, an M12 Milwaukee ratchet. If you have it, it's a perfect tool to have. If not, you can make do without it. So obviously the first step is getting the car in the air, whether you have a lift or jack stands. On jack stands, this is gonna be a little bit more of a difficult job. So you have to have enough room to kind of get the cross member down. So you'll need those as high as they can go. So let's actually start digging into the car. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is remove this skid plate. And as you can see, it's missing some hardware. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that while we're in here. And then we're also gonna remove this side skid plate as well, just so you guys can get some more visibility on what we're actually getting to up here to get the cross member out. Go ahead, pull that down. I like to set my stuff to the side and then put the hardware with it so I know what skid plate it actually goes to. So as you can see that this is looking a little pretty, pretty bad. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that. Uh, the first bolt that I'm actually gonna tackle is the one that goes through the transfer case and the cross member. Uh, it's good to use an 18 millimeter wrench to get it on this side of the nut since there's really not much space there. And then a ratchet on the other side to kind of undo it the rest of the way. Kind of go ahead, make sure this is on the other side holding this nut and break this loose. Here's the nut. And then the bolt will need some love getting out. We'll use a pull jack to kind of push up the transfer case right here so we can pull the rest of the way out. Cool cinematic shot. So we'll go ahead, loosen all of these down so we can get it a little lower and then we can pull it out and go past the exhaust without having to drop it. And then there is one above the exhaust. Instead of dropping the exhaust, you can just get a wrench up in there. It's kind of tight, but you are able to do it. I'll go ahead and loosen this one first. And you can go ahead and pull that center bolt out now. And there you go. So before you actually drop this down, there is an E8 e torx right here. You have to remove that and kind of move the bracket out of the cross member and then kind of let that hang out of the way. So now we're actually going to drop the cross member. Um, if you have a friend, uh, ask a friend for help. If not, you can join the struggle bus. So kind of just try to grab a good way of gripping it here so it doesn't fall. Lower the pole jack. And then we'll kind of want to pull the left side down first so that we can get it around the exhaust. So as you can see, we have the cross member out of the car and we're gonna go ahead and replace it. This is kind of rusty, so you can kind of see why we're replacing it. It's just preventative maintenance. 
some of the hardware on here as well. You can transfer over to the new one, but if you wanna purchase new hardware while you're in there, we're gonna have all of that linked in the description below. And obviously to put it back in, it's just gonna be reverse of taking it out. So, and then the six bolts are gonna to be torqued to 38 Newton meters. And then the long one will be torqued to 68. And then that kind of completes the whole DIY. So if you guys wanna like, comment and subscribe and follow for more content. <laughs>